Um, in behalf of the World Party side, so my parents and my father have seven sila in the family. So I wish to read a letter from them. Um, this one was written by my aunt, Auntie Baby Girl, the youngest of Papa siblings. I can vividly recall your papa's long distance call to announce to us your birth. My brother, who is always hard to reach out and no signal. It would seem not just too long ago that I saw your face lit with joy when you got your first bike for Christmas. Christmas spent with our family in Santa Barbara, Ilido. You were four years old at that time. A couple of years ago, your auntie Tess took you all for a shopping spree at SMU Ilo during the holiday vacation. Did you buy something for yourself, Nonoy? In June of this year, we saw pictures of the family set off in Baguio. Your auntie Mirna called, should we zoom money to help with the trip expenses? We siblings know that, that our brother don't ask. To be sent. Unfortunately, we were not able to at that moment in time, but we could have done it. For you, we have bought your extra uniform so you don't have to iron, and also pizza and donuts. Even a laptop that you are waiting to be provided by the academy. And just a few days ago, your Auntie Beth drove to the bank to get money to send to your papa because we fully understand the urgent need when he got called to the CMA. We are all hoping and praying to God that it was just a minor problem. You are the pride and joy to our family. Vibrant, smart, and quiet. Like your father described in the red heartbound, the sword. I realized just now you are called Nonoy, same as Uncle Nonoy, Noya, our youngest brother. Your sister, Denica, is also known as Baby Girl, like me, and your Korean Dexter, I think, was named after your papa's dog in Bulua. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I ask your papa when his Nonoy Barry is going to enter TMP, he would say, you are not at all surprised that you pass the exam and head up to Baguio. You were armed with knowledge, mental and physical strength to tackle the academy. Before you left the academy, you created a Facebook profile for your papa. You were also excited to see a picture of Toto that you cherished. By the way, Sir William Sir, you have hundreds of address messages. <laughs> Your auntie Aya commented, good to see you on Facebook. Thanks, Dardar, for connecting us as a family into your shortened life. This is not the end, but it is just a beginning. You did not die in vain. This was your dream since you were a child, to follow your papa's footsteps, to serve our country, and to continue on your father's vision of farming and providing livelihood in the grassroots. We, the Dormitorial family, salute our brother who survived the academy, and we salute you more, even if you did not. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. And we're letting you know that you are loved, and you will, great, will be great missed. We love you, the dormitory aunties and uncle mommy. So, speaking as a sister, I grew up with my two siblings. Um, nine years among me stuff. So I was like the second mom to my brother. We were very close. Um, uh, my brother and I um, went to school in Luzon. So every time we went home to for summer vacation that we can afford. So I got to spend quality time with my brother, so we are we were inseparable. And Palanga Abigail Namisha, she was the light in our family. And he was he was very special to our family. That's why what happened now is my lucky kitchen and my dog some family. Um 
when he was growing up, he was asked what he wanted to become, and he always wanted to become a soldier. And I told him, and my mama also told him, no, but he ma po isan ka, ano, pusilan ka, and he would just reply, no, ilag man po. And also, prior entering the academy, he said exercise, no, kita na po sa balay. And then he would say to me, Ate, um, sana ma-survive to your first year. And come incorporation, we all, the, all of us went to Baguio. And then we saw him in his uniform. He was breathing with pride, wearing his uniform. And I told myself, my brother is going on his dream. Since we were young, we were always taught to reach for our dream. And I see my brother doing the same. So, I you could not tell me no. Because he was happy. How could you tell me no? So, yon. After we heard the news, so we were devastated. The first plan was to cremate him. And the story of his own mama, Mom, I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to I would see my heart. How do I do it? If I see him, God, I don't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. But yun, parang si Dar always lives sa South. He, uh, he ayaw niya na nag-aalala kami. So when I looked at him, I told my mom, Mom, hi, Haya, maganda yung mukha ni Dar. He, parang you want to tell us that he is a thief, na ayaw niya mag-aalala kami. So we did not receive the affirmation. I will be forever proud of my brother for standing up or having the courage na to never surrender in his training na divide with me until the end. My friends would ask me, would message me, um, what help can we give you, your family, of cash, ganyan? Sabi ko, wag na. We just need for all of you to pray for us, to pray for my parents, my family, na accept na mo. And then, si Dar, he has come to a point that we have to be listen again. Sabi ko, kailangan natin kausapin si Dar na we are setting him free para kung ba naging siya nagpapagal. Para nga, at least na siya, and hindi hindi siya mag-alala sa mukha. Like, ever since, that was his, that was his wish. So, yun Dar, we love you so much. We need to say goodbye, but we know we are in a great place. Thank you. We love you so much. See you soon.